Welcome to my malware analysis lab setup. First thing I'm going to be doing is I'm setting up two VMs, uh, Windows 7 Enterprise and a Kali machine so that I can do all of my labs. At this point you should be fairly familiar with how to set up a Windows 7 VM, but I'm just doing a, again a basic install. not doing a serial number, not doing a password. I do actually want to make sure that I'm saving it to the right folder. Malware. Analysis. And the first one will be Win7. So I want to make sure I'm saving it there. And this is a Windows 7 for malware analysis. I'm going to be going leaving the basics. I do want to manipulate a little bit because I don't want that slow of a machine. So two processors, two cores, four gigs of RAM, and that should be good for now. It will create the disk. It will do the installation process. And this should not take very long. While that's starting, I'm going to go ahead and do my Kali from Intensive Security. I'm going to be downloading the Kali Linux 64 bit. And I'm going to let it download. Save as, I want to save it to my VMs folder, malware analysis, and I will let it download. While that's downloading, I'll be doing my Windows installation. This is going to be pretty straightforward, so I'm going to pause it till it gets to the very end. If there's any prompts, I'll make sure to unpause it. Alright, so it restarted a few times, and uh, that was it. Go and choose Work Network. Let the VMware uh, tools install so we can get full screen. And what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to make a new folder. Malware analysis. And I'm going to copy both my VMs over there. I'm also going to, while I was waiting, I actually had the download for Kali finish and then I extracted it to my VMs Malware Analysis folder. That way I can get both my Windows 7 and Malware Analysis machines up and running. Copied it. VMware Tools will take a few restarts, and then that guy should be ready to go. Alright, let's go ahead and maximize our screen to make sure it works, and it does. So one thing that I do want to do is I actually want to bookmark the lab book and make sure it works. There it goes. No. This is always really the fun part. OK. 
okay it should be connecting at any point now all right so it had the time up for a minute first before it actually did anything here is our lab book you can actually click on labs and you could download all of the labs And that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and download. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Yep, we're going to close all the tabs. And again, these are just the lab files. I'm going to leave the exe in the labs folder just in case. I'm going to clean this up a little bit just because I don't like the way that it is. And we have all of the lab files from all the labs that we're going to be doing right there. So this guy should be finished. Let's hop over to our Kali machine. It's the offensive security, so the password should be root and T-O-O-R for the default password. We're going to make sure it's up to date. And we're going to do an app get upgrade just to make sure it is all good. Yes, that way we can make sure these machines are fully updated. I'm going to go ahead and pause. That way we're not just kind of waiting for this to update. Okay. So what I did was I made sure that my machines are updated and they are ready to go. One thing that I did uh, go ahead and do while I was waiting was... Callie took a while to update. So what I ended up doing was I downloaded all of the tools... Uh, PE Explorer, PEID, PE View, Process Monitor, Red Shot, um, Resource Hacker, uh, made a shortcut for virus tools, but these are going to be the tools that we're going to be using. And all, all I did was go through the lab labs and I just looked for what resources we need. And that actually is this lab in a nutshell. Uh, we will be setting up some additional items, um, like the INET sim in a, another lab, right? but for right now, this is really all we needed. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Okay, I, I lied a little bit. What I do want to do, I want to copy over the tools. And just for completeness sake... I want to go ahead and I want to get some of them installed. Just that way, I'm just going to do the default options. Just that way my tools are installed and I don't have to worry about anything. They're just, they're there, they're ready to go. I'm going to be doing the executables. And again, I'm just doing default options just so that it's installed. Alright, that should be done. I'm going to create an installed folder just so that I know which ones have been installed. I'll do in map. I'm looking at this guy right here, the red shot, which is a 
seven zip file, so I may have to download something to open that. Yeah, because it won't let me extract it. So I will just move over and extract the version of it. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to install all of the tools. The app. Uh, application just that way they're already installed and that is the end of the beginning of our malware analysis lab setup I will wait till in-map finishes before I finish the video I'm gonna go ahead and pause it for now while these install I will say installing in-map took its sweet time I'm talking quite a while for that and again, all I'm doing is going down, installing all of the applications, so this lab can be finished. Okay, I got all of the installers installed. One thing I did not, I went through all of these, and these are going to be standalone EXEs. So those are not installers. So I'm going to leave those for later. I made sure HashCalc, InMap, PE Explorer, PI uh, Insider, Resource Hacker and Wireshark were all installed. I made sure the tools are still there, the lab book and the virus total. And while we were waiting, just because sometimes the author did say that Windows 7 will not always work, so I made sure to install Windows XP just in case. I copied the tools over there just in case. I'm not going to spend the time to install all of the tools like I did with Windows 7, but I'm going to make sure that at least things like the appropriate shortcuts are there. Alright, so, lab book, virus total, and all the lab files. Oh, it has been a while since I've had to use XP. It's going to be kind of interesting. Um, one thing to note is some lab files may disappear. That was one big reason why I made sure the EXE was still here. Not gonna worry about installing or validating any of that. There are my lab files, lab book. Okay, so for my malware analysis, I'll have a Windows XP, I will have a Kali Linux, and I will have a Windows 7 machine. That way, I can do my labs that way. If you have any questions, again, leave them in the comments, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thank you, and you have a great day.